In 1961, James and Gladys Seitz bought some used laundry equipment, a delivery truck, and started Industrial Uniform Services, now known as Cytex. My mother and dad were in their 40s, uh, maybe late 40s, when the business began, and as well uh, uh, as were my uncle and aunt. It was late in life for a business venture for them. It was a family affair. We started out with one customer, my dad would run the route, pick those garments up uh, after selling the account, uh, bring them in, launder them. Uh, my uncle worked in the uh, plant, helping uh, uh, operate the plant. We all were involved in it from day one. From about the time I was roughly 13, when I got my first job in the company, uh, I would work summers. I would work in the plant, different departments, maybe, maybe in the office if there was a need. Um, and then, and then when I got to be old enough to ride in a truck, you know, I would help on a route. Um, it was kind of whatever was needed at the time. It might be, you know, in the plant and maintenance with a certain job. Um, and then even through high school and through college would work, come back and work summer jobs, whether it be in the plant or in customer service, helping on routes. Um, and then after college, when I graduated, I took a week and moved all my stuff back home. Um, and started to work, and started to work in a, in a management training program. I think the thing that I've learned most from my father is having integrity in, in, in business. Our company is blessed, I'm blessed, uh, to have two sons who are active in this uh, business uh, and run this business on a day-to-day -day basis. They, uh, they're committed to it, they have a passion for it, my dad instilled you know, in us to do the right thing, uh, to work hard, to treat people right, um, you know, and be honest and have integrity. We learned early on the importance of taking care of customers. As we started out with one customer and then two, and uh, each and every customer was, uh, was vitally important to us. So taking care, meeting the needs of those customers help guide our uh, principles, uh, our commitment to customers uh, uh, to this day. When we have the opportunity to, to take on a new customer who's perhaps had a bad experience with another service provider, um, it's, really, it's really satisfying to, uh, to, to help them see how, how, how much, how we can take this part of the worries of their business out of their routine that will take care of their uniforms, will take care of their linens or mats or whatever service it is that we're providing, and that they don't have to worry about it anymore. I think people want to, want to do business with, um, with local businesses, with family-owned businesses. Um, we've proved ourselves over, over quite a few decades, you know, it's been 50 years now, and uh, it's um, people People like doing business with people like them that, that give back to communities and, um, and, and we deliver. Looking back over the 50 year history of our company, from a uh, small concrete block building, we now enjoy a uh, new modern state of the art uh, plant here with locations in Louisville, Nashville, Jasper, Indiana, and Paducah, Kentucky. And, uh, uh, a great number of committed team members that work every day to uh, uh, move this company forward. With all the changes that we've seen, the one thing that's remained the same is our philosophy and the way we treat our team members, the way we treat our customers, the way we treat the communities that we do business in, and even the way we treat the environment. My mother was very fortunate to have lived to see this new plant built, but was involved in the groundbreaking. My father was a uh, practical engineer who loved to build things, uh, loved technology, uh, and uh, I would love for him to have been able to see this new plant. I think what success that we have uh, uh, enjoyed has been attributable to a great extent to the people we've had. We've been very fortunate to have uh, team members over uh, our 50 years who were committed to this company, who we enjoyed working with, people who were committed to customers, uh, committed to uh, growing this company, 
And uh, without those good people being involved, and I could name many of them, we would have not enjoyed nearly the uh, success we've uh, been fortunate enough to enjoy. Our team members over the years are what has set us apart from our competition and what truly makes customer satisfaction. You know, our, our team members are the people that do the tough jobs every day and see the customers and thank the customers and, and get the work done. I mean, they're the ones that make it happen. Our people uh, make us better. Uh, there, there's no question in my mind I, of all the places that I've worked, that you see it in the people that with decades of experience providing this service, um, that's, that's what makes us who we are. If I had one wish uh, related to our company, it would be that we uh, can continue to provide uh, opportunities uh, for our employees, opportunities uh, for, uh, uh, for growth in this company and, and personal growth for each and every uh, uh, employee that we have. Thank you. 